Needle stick injury is a major occupational health and safety issue facing healthcare professionals in the hospital setting. Nursing staff are at greatest risk. Needle stick injuries are a far too common hazard. Some hospitals report one third of nursing staff suffer such injuries each year. Available statistics probably underestimate the severity of the problem because many workers do not report their injuries. This makes it difficult to know exactly how serious the problem is or how well prevention programs work. Needle stick injuries transmit infectious diseases, especially blood-borne viruses. In recent years, concern about AIDS, Hepatitis B, and Hepatitis C has prompted research to find out why these injuries occur and to develop measures to prevent them. Despite published guidelines and training programs, needle stick injuries remain an ongoing problem. The most common situations where a needle stick injury is most likely to occur involve withdrawing the needle from a patient and recapping, which can account for 25 to 30 percent of all injuries. Step 1. Washing the affected area thoroughly ensures all surface pathogens and bacteria are removed from the injury site. This is the first step in disinfecting the affected body part. Step 2. Disinfecting the area with an alcohol swab further ensures all bacteria are removed. Step 3. Applying a sterile dressing to the injury provides protection from the surrounding environment. It also provides protection for the staff members and clients who work in close contact. Step 4. While in the emergency room, ensure the needle stick exposure package is obtained. It is critical to get tested for HIV, Hepatitis B, and Hepatitis C as soon as possible. You should be retested for Hepatitis C six weeks after the initial needle stick injury and again at four to six months for HCV antibodies and elevated liver enzymes. After HIV exposure, get tested at six weeks and again at three, six, and twelve months for antibodies to HIV. Step 5. Notify your manager or supervisor. Inform your manager or supervisor when the injury occurred, how the injury occurred, and what you have done so far to protect yourself and the employees or clients involved. Step 6. It is important to report this incident to the Staff Injury and Incident Reporting Call Center. It is within the professional and responsible role of a nurse to report such an incident. Step 7. Accurately fill out the incident report and return it to your manager.